Hello guys and gals, welcome back. I'm Rishab and you're watching Gansher. So the capacitive buttons on your phone don't work, huh? And probably your phone is out of warranty. And you want a solution to your problem without having to spend any more money on it. Then you've come to the right place. Stay tuned cause in this video we're gonna show you the solution to just that. So in order to make this work you need a rooted phone. If your phone isn't rooted or you just don't know what root is, you can head over to the XDA developers website and you'll find enough content on your particular phone like how to root it, which method, etc. For the purpose of this video, I'll be using a Samsung Galaxy SLI9003. So if you want to know how to root that, there's a very well done tutorial by a fellow YouTuber, Cheryl Productions, if I pronounce that right which will be annotated right over here and of course the links to all the things I mentioned above will be given in the description below so without any further ado let's get on to it so now that you have a rooted phone you need to download an application called button savior from the play store links to which is in the description below this is a very rich application in itself and packs a lot of things you can do with it and to top it all it's free at least the basic version which pretty much provides the whole functionality we need here is. Of course there are ads, but you know that's a healthy way for the developers to earn a little bit of money through it and as a result you get it for free. The best thing is that these ads are very well placed in the application so as to not bother your experience with it at all. So kudos to the developer for that. Also, if you want to remove ads and add some more interesting features to it, there's the pro version also, which is not that expensive either, it's about 100 rupees or 2 dollars. Now once you have downloaded and installed this app, further steps are pretty standard. You open the application by clicking on its icon, provide its super user permissions which you pretty much do for all root apps and then you get an interface which looks something like this. Now all you need to do is to tweak around with its settings to set it as you want this app to behave. I'll show you what I have done so you can take a little bit of idea of its capabilities. Ok, so what I've done is set it to trigger with a gesture slide from the right side of the screen instead of the icon click. Set it to hide automatically when I touch anywhere else on the screen so I don't have to close it every time and for the look and feel I've put a honeycomb theme on it which looks awesome to me. Now as I've been using it for over a week now, I now think this works as good and flawless as it looks. So if you face the same kind of problem as I did or just want to try it out, get your hands on it and experiment with the numerous other customizations it provides. I hope this video helped you with your problem. If it did, be nice to the like button down below. And if you want to be informed about our videos as soon as they come up, click the subscribe button below. And of course, if you want to connect with us anytime, we are almost always available on Facebook, Twitter and Google+. Well then, see you next time. Keep sharing, keep learning.